I do find it odd that we haven't, like, used the syringe, but we've only really gotten through, like, the ending sequence twice so far. Don't know that we haven't had an opportunity to exactly, or if it would ever come up on its own. Hard to say. Hard to say. There are just a lot of CGs left to get, and we've already exhausted some likely options. That stuff all happens. Uh, we're not quite there yet. I'm dropping save transitions. This would really be a lot less cumbersome without the chapter transitions failing me constantly. Monica's ominous warning. Now we're back here. Wow, I didn't mean to tug on this. So if Kaito is number 13 and a confirmed Shuthai, uh, and Yuri is obviously confirmed as well, that kind of does put into question where Monica fits into all this. Hmm. I, th I thought for sure that she would have been number 13, but then we saw that it was Kaito here that one time. And then if you don't meet him, it doesn't show him. But it would still explain why he spares us here, because, like, if he knows we've been uh, getting close to his sister, that could be a reason why. Or maybe they both went there together, who knows? They could have planned it. I probably should have stopped a lot sooner than that. <laughs> I hate these crashes, man, it sucks so much. <sighs> We'll just we'll stop it after we get to like the corridor with the guard that gets his head ripped off. We'll stop it there. Do, 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 do. It's probably going to affect the ending at all, but who knows? We might get that option to not accompany Hero. I don't know what it is was about the Kaito route that prevented that, but if we have the other the choice, we'll try the other option there. Yeah, this guy is like, Yuri's been dead for a long time. How long's a long time? A couple weeks, to me, is not a long time. <laughs> Doesn't seem likely. Code red. Okay, let's... Man, I said I would wait for, like, that's a shadow to appear, but we're not gonna wait. We're just gonna go. Drop it there. Okay, there. Now we're, now we're further along. Now we're further along. Okay, good. We made it! Is this gonna be any different? I don't think it is. I have a strong suspicion it's not gonna be. Confronting Monica. Is this when Monica shows up here? I'm pretty sure it is. And then there's a transition right after that, and we know it's giving us problems. Yep, yep, don't you crash! Oh, you're crashing. It seems to crash more reliably on some than others, but... I don't know. If there was any consistency to it... No, yeah, we're on load. Load the game. So we got through this mashing last time. Let's try that again. Do -do -do -do. This seems kind of familiar. Monica, why are you a murderer? Were you just hungry? I'm also a little curious. Oh, I guess it didn't mash up enough. But I'm also a little curious as to, like, why the Shutais need to live off human flesh necessarily. Like, can't they just go eat animals or something? You would think that might be an option. Come on, game. You can't do this to me forever. I mean, you can, but please don't. <laughs> it won't be interesting for the viewers either. Uh, if I was a better YouTuber. Maybe I would cut this crap out. Why? Why are you like this? Maybe the problem is I'm trying too hard to skip it. Should we just let it let it play on its own? Like not not interfere? Let's see. Although not our non-interference was like our whole strategy in the first place and it didn't work. You never know. Some, some of a variety of approaches is what you need. Nope, nope. It just has a little error and it's like, well, time to crash. Guess I'll die. Ah, this game. I'm so curious to see how else it can work out. Please just go. No! 
this particular transition is exceptionally troublesome for us. Oh, not the credits. Ah, I threw it like mashing for. What do I gotta do, man? What do I gotta do? This is even harder without my mouse because, like, I, my choices are mash with the keyboard or mash with the touchpad, and I don't trust either of those things particularly much. It's just not going. It's just not going. Oh my god. What is your problem, Renpai? Or is it just my laptop? Is it just my laptop? I don't have any other choices on what to record on anyway, so it's not like I could do something about it if I wanted to. Oh, thank god. Now let's get through the end and it won't be any different. Give me the choice, hero. Show me that choice option. He didn't. Or was it that he like, he said we have a choice and we didn't actually? I could have sworn there was like, we picked an option to follow him or not. Maybe we didn't and I just remembered wrong. There she is. Hold on a second. One thing I do really like about this ending for Yuri, though, is, like, that moment there where her expression returns to normal, it's almost like it was a relief for her to die. Because, like, she, um, she didn't want to kill you, and she was, didn't want to follow her instincts either. So we didn't actually get any CGs. I don't see any real reason to wait this out, and so, well, we didn't even see any new text either. Yeah... Alright, so yeah, Natsuki was actually a complete dead end. Alright, let's go follow Eiji. Let's go follow Eiji's route. <laughs> the true bad ending is following Natsuki. Going for the girl that will never like you, no matter how hard you try. Okay, um... Hold on, hold on. Where's my delete key? There it is. Delete this save. We don't need that one. We're going back here. We're gonna... Hang <laughs> out with Eiji. He's even in the icon now. Yo, my guy, you're gonna wanna hear this. AJ asked me to stop by the pawn shop on my way home. He seemed really excited earlier on the phone and said it would take a while, so I should just come in person. I leave the school and make my way towards the pawn shop. The sun is setting and the streets are mostly empty. As I approach the store, I notice a strange symbol painted on the wall. It's a simple image, a large circle surrounded by a ring of smaller circles. What's the meaning of this? Ah, welcome, my man. Take a seat, dude. He gestures to a stool. I sit down, and the seat is cold against my legs. Want something to drink, my guy? Uh, tea, soda, water, anything. I've got all the latest stuff here. He points to a vending machine in the corner. Tea would be nice. Alrighty. He pulls a can of tea from the machine and hands it to me. So, what did you want to talk about? Straight to the point, huh? He looks around awkwardly. Okay, I'll cut to the chase. Something big is going on. The city is being quarantined. What? Are you serious? Yeah, dude. I overheard some guys talking about it over the radio, but it won't make it public till next week. No one is to leave their homes until the gas leak has been contained. Seems like an awful lot of trouble for a gas leak. Shouldn't they be evacuating people instead? That's just it, man. There is no gas leak. They're looking for something. Or a miraculously someone. He grins, his eyes full, shifting from side to side. Anyway, you're welcome to stay here if you want. My door's always open, my guy. Or you can skip town before shit gets real. You still have a few days. Oh, uh, one more thing. He hands me a key with the number 57 engraved in the side. Ah. Swiped that on my way back home last night. From a... From a... a friend of a friend? Something like that. Anyway, it's uh, to a storage locker, some outdoor warehouses down by the beach, ex-military, cool stuff. And if you decide to stay, it'll be useful for survival and all that. If you live through the next few days, I mean. Well, isn't that some curious happenings? <laughs> Alright, so we've got a key to a locker now. I'm just a little bewildered, man. I'm a little bewildered. So this is still off of the Natsuki route, so I guess we're not going to necessarily hang out with Monica. I don't know.
yeah, we'll just have to see how things go. There are still a couple of paths I feel curious to take. Obviously, we need we need to know where one CG is. It's the dancing game. But man, I really do not want to do that when my controller is not working. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it during like the dancing video. My keyboard has half keys for the up and down arrows, and that is not ideal for any form of DDR. I'm comfortable saving over this now since we're committing to the AG route. Oh, you're doing this again. You're doing it to me. Also, crap. That means we didn't actually save the text, did we? Well, no, it's, it's part of the save file. It should be fine. Probably. There we go. Sometimes it goes, sometimes it knows. Aha, we can go to Locker 57 this time. How curious. Uh, well, we don't really need the, the ramen saburo. That scene doesn't seem to change like ever. Red Dragon Logistics. Former airfield, ex-military, Lock 57. Some glitch text. As abandoned air, an abandoned airfield, converted into storage, Tamano Airstrip is surrounded by low rolling hills. Aside from the occasional blue security van, the site is deserted. Let's go. Warehouse. Get arms to the teeth. Well, this must be the place. I look up at the old locker. The doors are nearly rusted shut, as if they haven't been opened in some time. I take out the key and insert it into the lock. The large metal door is open with a creak, revealing a pile of boxes and old clothes. Funk. One of the boxes falls out and lands on the floor, spewing a large cloud of dust in my direction. <coughs> it's filled with old cassette tapes. I pull one out and look at it. The Adventures of Captain Spaceboy, Volume 1, The Beginning. A Spaceboy Production, 1998. Huh. I put the tape back and pull out a small dusty book. The spine is cracked and the pages are yellow with age. The faded cover depicts a girl and boy standing under a tree. A single apple hangs from one of its branches. I flip it open. It's a poem book. The words are written in an elegant hand. The letters flow and curl across the page. The world is quiet here. We sit and listen to the whisper of a summer's breeze, a song of birds call, to the echoes of laughter. The world is quiet here. I read the first poem aloud. It's a simple, beautiful poem, but there's something melancholic about the way it's written. A folded piece of paper falls out from between the pages. I reach down and pick it up, unfolding it carefully. It's a letter addressed to a General Ishi Shiro, dated August 14th, 1945. August 14th, 1945. Around World War II. General, as you know, the might of the enemy's newest weapon has been unleashed upon our great nation. We are now facing an existential threat unlike anything seen before by the likes of men. In light of this, I feel it is necessary to discuss the potential applications of our own project, as well as its viability in the face of this new threat. I urge you not to surrender. I urge you to continue fighting. Our country may be crippled, but our resolve is unbroken. I understand that the research is, has been deemed too risky for human testing. However, it is my firm belief that with more resources and time, we can develop a weapon capable of e ellipsing the enemy's atomic arsenal. I'm sure they meant eclipsing. With respect, Major Masaru Saito, 13th Division, Imperial Army. There's another letter taped to the next page. September 1st, 1945. Is it going to end on September 22nd? As requested, I am writing to inform you of the recent discoveries made by my division. Redacted was successfully transferred to Redacted last month, and preliminary tests have revealed the object to be stable and undamaged by the blast. We were, however, surprised to discover a series of redacted etched onto the exterior surface, which have since been redacted. <laughs> While the meaning of these symbols is not known at present, our experts are working diligently to decipher their significance. In addition, the superstructure itself seems to be made from an unknown material, one which does not appear to be of redacted origin. This suggests the possibility of redacted involvement, a theory which has been gaining traction among the scientific community as of late. Further updates will be provided as necessary. Respectfully, Captain Fujibara Masanori, 13th Division, Imperial Army. What the hell is this? December 16th, 1949. Okay, no, it's not going to September 22nd. General Ishishiro, the first redacted was successful, and we are now ready to begin second stage plans. All preparations are complete, and we are awaiting your approval. I cannot stress enough how important this mission is. If successful, it will not only secure our position, but ensure this for the future prosperity of our nation. Respectfully, Captain Takahashi Hideaki, Former 13th Division, Goshen Naval Base. April 5th, 2006. 
to Director Nakamura. My name is Kuzuhara Hiroshi, and I work for the Special Division on Redacted. I regret to inform you that during routine maintenance, non-Euclidean class Shutai, Shutai 0013 escaped, resulting in the deaths of several researchers and security personnel. Though it escaped around Redacted, we are tracking the identity using Redacted. A retrieval team has been assembled and is preparing to depart within the hour. I am sending this message via courier, as it is imperative that this information not be compromised. Respectfully, Kuzuhara Hiroshi, JSDF, Koshian Special Division. April 6th, 06. I've been thinking about what happened and why I did it. I've gone over the end events a hundred times, a thousand, and I still don't know. I'm gone crazy. Maybe I've always been crazy. Or maybe. No, I can't lose myself. Not yet. There's still so much to do. April 10th, 06. This was a mistake. I tried having lunch earlier and nearly threw up. I can't eat. I can't sleep. All I can do is sit here and think. Thinking is a mistake. Thinking is dangerous. Because when I think, I remember. Christ, I'm hungry. Well, it's been nearly a week since I started writing this damn thing. It's weird. I feel like myself, and yet I don't. Like, there's a part of me that's different. A part of me that's missing. I keep dreaming about last week, seeing his lifeless body, blood sleep seeping from the wound in his chest. Why did he have to die? Why did I... I see him everywhere. In the street, in the mirror, in my dreams. He's calling to me, pleading with me to stay back. It's driving me mad. I think the only reason I'm still here is because of the journal. Writing it, it helps me focus, keeps me grounded. Hiroshi, I'm fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. 